What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of P5R. In this episode we're going to go ahead and start it off by hanging out with Makoto today. So let's do it. We got our priestess persona so we should be good to go. Yeah, we're good. Do have Silky. Shall we go? Is something the matter? So what did you want to talk about? Well, um, I was wondering if you could maybe lend me some cash. <laughs> what? It's nothing real major, but I need it, like, right now. I'll pay you back, though. Honest, please. Does this have to do with Tsukasa? Mm-hmm. He dropped a super expensive bottle or sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it, but he needs help. How He's suspicious. lying to you, Aiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but my Sukas is not like that. He's really gentle. Honest, too. He even calls me princess, and I'm the only one he says that to, you know? He says it because I'm special. So he calls you his special princess. What do you think? He says that to all his girls. Yes. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is, a, is his princess. That way he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. But, but, but did you ask anyone at the, at the club about the broken bottle? Well, um, no. You told me not to talk to them about it, though. He's too proud to have me go crying to his boss. Please, Makoto. You're the only person I can trust. All my other friends would rather focus on cram, focus on cram school and in entrance exams than take time to help me. And who knows what my parents say if I tried to ask them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't put a, put that, if you don't put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, he already got me a job. It's nothing weird though. I'm just serving I'm just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He he said I'll be a number one in no time. Maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate high school though. I mean, it's like I'm going to go to college. Iko, you can't just do whatever he says. He's trying to deceive you. A smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just gonna go to a good college, work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's gonna be totally boring. I mean, it's it's that seriously how you wanna live. I I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay as far away from it as, as you can. So you're not gonna help me. Ugh, just forget it. I can make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. I go wait. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Sukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking if my sister and I live alone, and that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Aiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap. Sukasa is just so nice that he'd worry about my friends for me. Wait, you were texting him behind my back? What the hell, Makoto? It was mostly him texting me. Ugh, you have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend, and you seriously still want more? Tsukasa is all I have. You can't take him from me. Please That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, right. Just keep your just keep your hands off. I never forgive you if you stole him away, Makoto. Tsukasa is all she has? You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl that uh, those gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. Actually, Aiko's family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Tsukasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that. You're going to help, right? I mean, of course we're going to help. Thank you Thank very you. much. It's reassuring to hear you say that. Michael's blessed to have both money and a family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite of me. What? But I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I was so blinded to my own convictions that I never stopped to consider other uh, other alternative viewpoints on the world. But that's not that's not the right way to live. I want to show her that just like you died just like you did for me. Alright, I can sense a deep bond with Makoto. And with that, we hit rank eight with Makoto. All right. 
I know she wants me to stay out of their business, but I never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. What's the right way to live? At any rate, we're gonna catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I thought of how to do it. I'll see you later. Alright, cool, cool. Back to that. There haven't been any mental shutdown cases lately, right? Not since Okamura uh, took first in pl first place in the rankings. Uh, perhaps the culprit behind them is being cautious due to the success we've been we've had recently. So it's because of us? Damn, I'm glad we're famous. But it's highly probable that they'll become active again, especially if they think the Phantom Thieves aren't, aren't actively attempting to do anything. We're also going. We're also going to be in trouble if we let public opinion go down the path it's heading. Yes, there have been a great deal of more, in, more in, uh, instigating comments lately, and we're all trying so hard. Our inactivity must be upsetting. We should keep that in mind. Okay. Who's available today? EY is available today. Um, so is he for me. Um, let's see, who do we want to hang out with? Kawakami, why? Akechi. Ooh, he's a Wait, isn't there like a cutoff date with him that you can't hang out with him until like a certain point in the game or something? Let me check. Right? Hi. Good evening. He's got quite a bit to do. So, yeah. So we can't do anything with Akechi. Okay, so we are going to hang out with Hifumi today because we are getting close to her uh, request in for in mementos as well. Uh, I believe we're at rank 7 with her or rank 6? Hifumi. No, we're at rank 6. Okay, so yeah. Let's hang out with, with Hifumi. <laughs> Alright, our bonds will go stronger soon. We will hang out with her. Thank you very much. Haha, <laughs> you have been defeated. The battlefield is mine. The ultimate Togo Kingdom is complete. All of my pieces have been taken. Hifumi has left me utterly defeated. But to think you could uh, you could say standing after being struck by by Silver Infinity Sword, Infinity Sword. You've improved, considering that you're enduring the, cli uh, the climbing silver so early in the match. The, de the determination I'm sensing from you is real inspiration. I must think of a new move. I'm afraid you'll surpass me one day if I don't stay sharp. Actually, the exhibition match against the pro, my, the pro my mother was talking about has been confirmed. He's a very he's a he's a very famous shogi player. I'm aiming to be the first woman to reach the pro ranking league. I'm sure it will draw a lot of attention, especially after that article. However, I don't intend to lose. This is my chance to display my true skills. I conf I confess I am a bit scared though. I mean. It may come down to luck. You're right. However, that also means I have a chance of winning, even though my opponent's ranked higher. To be honest, I'm not sure how well my skills will hold up against a true professional. All right. But I'm sick of being treated like an idol. I have to show them what I'm made of. I mean, I believe in you. Thank you. So, um, there's a move I want to try out. Would you like to play another match? Thank you very much. Strategically place your pieces in the enemy's zone to increase your chances of getting gold. Be sure to use that tactic in your next match for today. Uh, for today, try and steal the pieces you want from me. All right, and Ifumi's trust is growing in with us. All right, you can earn double money if a battle is won in one turn after a successful ambush. Nice. Cool, cool. All right. Well then, let's begin the match. I hereby place this golden mantle upon your shoulder. Don it with pride. Awesome. Come, lightning metamorphosis, gold promotion. Alright, with that we get a pip to knowledge. Thank you for today. Mm. 
job, but you have tomorrow off, right? I'm gonna be sitting by at the hideout, so we gotta play games. I'll bring an awesome one tomorrow. Okay, you wanna hang out. Especially got power intuition, time to make think like a tree. Hmm. Alright, cuckoo. Alright. Phantom Thieves, so true. Catchy Kun is finished. True identities. Collector's items now. Hey. Hey. Okay. Well then. Let's see, what do we want to do today? Uh, what are we doing? We could Max Yus go ahead and Max Yusuke out? We might actually do that. Let's see. Kemi Yusuke. Makoto is also available. Um, I th think we go ahead and max out Yusuke. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling today. Let's go ahead and, well, not to the station square, but. Uh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, we want to hang out with the use case. Let's go ahead and head to the underground walkway. What the? Here we go. Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and max out Yusuke while we're here. Might as well. I'll just add this. Okay. So yeah, since we'll have Yusuke maxed out, that means less confidence we have to worry about. It's you. Let's hang out. Why? Alright, with this we should be maxing out. Accepted. The resulting exhibition is actually going on as we speak. Let us be off. Come, let us go. It's being held at the same museum as last time. Alright, cool, cool. Use case Penny won the competition. I still have much to learn, but I finally painted something that I can be satisfied with. Yes, this is the true heart of humanity. The title is Desire and Hope. What do you think? So you added hope? Well, I added aspects that were previously lacking. This light is all of you. The title lists hope, but in my mind, it's a much more concrete thing. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. Hmm. You. It's a good painting. Huh? It's not trying to be eccentric for the sake of being eccentric, like the last time. To think the same painting can change this much. So this is the answer you've come up with. It is. Desire and hope, I see. Beauty and ugliness. Humans are creatures that possess both. It seems you understand that. What are you playing at? Huh. You provoked Yusuke on purpose. I apologize, although my intent was to encourage you. It was rather crude. Still, I believe that this ploy needed to be done in order to ignite your competitive spirit. But why would you do that? What's your objective? I wanted to do something for you as another person who is free from Matarame's chains. That's all. Huh? Matarame held a grudge against me for supposedly stealing his customers from him. 
To start, I couldn't get anyone to rent me space for exhibits. He caused me no end of hardship. So that's why. Yes, the heart of man is painted with desire, even if it's coated entirely in black at times. However, it seems you have the strength to not look away from it and chose to stand up against it. If only he had your strength. Timmy Madarame? Madarame and I go back a long way. First as classmates, then as teachers at the same art school. He used to have a noble spirit. Said he wanted to aim for the top of the art world one day. But in the end, even the art world has its share of politics. Those who are cunning win. Our hearts were stained black in that manner. But the human heart is a strange thing. It can't completely separate black from white. I was shocked when I heard that he took you in. He never liked children, you see. Oh? This happened just before we cut all ties from each other. But I got a call from him. He was panicking that nearby clinics were closed and that his kid had a fever. Sensei. He was, he was a good man deep down. Yeah. I don't want any more losers like me or misguided winners like him being born from this world. That's why I started this foundation. So how about it? Would you like our support? <laughs> Without the overbearing marketing production, of course. It's a truly kind offer. Thank you for your generosity. However, I must respectfully decline. Huh. What makes you say that? I am not Madarame. I won't be stained by desire. After all, I can see hope. If I am lost, they will extend their hands. If I am wrong, they will chastise me. As long as I have my rays of hope to guide me, I will be fine. Ha! Madarame really did have a good eye. <laughs> What a strange man. You're stranger, Yusuke. For declining his offer? It is a tad wasteful of me to decline. Still, I believe it's for the best. I feel contradictory, but... That's the human heart, correct? <sighs> Interesting. That's exactly what I should be painting. It must have been troublesome dealing with me. But for some reason, I knew that you wouldn't abandon me until everything was said and done. Thank you, my friend. Feel strong, bond to Yusuke. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Emperor, granting thee infinite power. Alright, and with that, we have hit rank 10 with Yusuke. Second Awakening transforms Persona into a mythological trickster. All right. You can now All fuse right. Odin, the most powerful Persona of the Emperor Arcana. Goodbye, Goemon. Persona within me. 
Ray has awakened to a new power. And right. hello, Kamu Fuzunoo. Now that I'm out of my slump, I need to make up for the time I wasn't able to paint. I reiterate my promise to you. I'll extend my assistance to you, should you ever stumble. All right. Now then, shall we go? We in shall. For me to learn more about the heart, we need to work hard on our thief business. Okay, evade fire. That's gonna be good. Um, we can get rid of Speedmaster. We don't. We don't need the automatic suit, Kukaja. Uh... Yeah, let's get rid of Speedmaster. Ah, you're back. Well then. All right, cool, cool. Phantom Thief set. Hey, hey. Oh, let's just get the Phantom Thief set. Okay. Well then. Let's see. Maybe we can hang out with today. Is she high available by chance? EY is it? We might actually hang out with EY. Yeah, we could hang out with Makoto and go to the jazz club and get her to concentrate skill. But I don't really think it's necessary to have for her because she she's like pretty much all around kind of. So I think we'll just go to Chikin, uh, Kichijoji or Kichijoji just to get the chunky katsu. Uh, that's available only on, only on Sundays. And we're gonna hang out with, with EY instead. Oh, welcome. Okay. Do we have a hangman persona? I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't. Okay. So we, we can go and get rid of em our Emperor Persona. We don't need that anymore. Um, and we can go ahead and go to the Velvet Room in Shibuya. And go ahead and get a Hangman Persona. So let's go ahead and go to the Velvet Room. And since we're, and since we're about to go there anyway, we might as well just sell all of our stuff also. Hey, inmate! I will be sure to at some point get concentrate and charge on all my characters at some point though because that is a really good skill to have. Justine, you handle the Um cuz it's they're just really good. Anyways, we want a hanging man persona. We can just get Wapo. If you withdraw this persist is your power. Are you finished? What? I want to go back. We're going to hang out no with EY. I should have a guy be on a lookout for when it rains so we can work on our guts. <sighs> Yo, I wanna shop. And I wanna sell everything okay. I got. You should be in mementos. Okay. Uh, Alright, we also got a new weapon for Morgana. Blood scimitar. Medium despair, reduce curse. I think that's that's actually better than the mutt, mutt cutlass. I mean, our attack goes down by two, but that's fine. Okay. So let's go ahead and hang out with EY. What's up? Now we have Huapo with us. Let's hang out with him. Good. Get info on, uh, on the rumor about the underground deal. Don't act all suspicious. Gotta take care of some other business. I'm counting on your kid. So you wanna know about some underground business deals, huh? You know you can find anything you need on the internet, right? Or are you look are you maybe looking for something a little more? 
I can see in your eyes. Who sent you here? I can't tell you. Taken to the code of honor, huh? Not bad for a kid. All right. Just act like I'm mumbling to myself. You got it? No promises I'm going to say anything useful either. So an exact for a Hong Kong mafia came to Japan sometime around New Year's. Apparently something big big went uh, went down with a huge Asian investor. 100 million yen. Though you'd figure you'd figure uh, something that massive would uh, would get uh, got more people talking about it. Maybe they leased uh, leased some kind of high end club to keep it as private as possible. I didn't hear a thing about that though. All right, we're done here. Go. Your store is impressive as always. Great stuff, EY. Yeah. It's nice to hear that coming from you, Suda-san. Bet you could start a war with realistic models like these. Seriously, these are incredible. I should get a, I, I should get going now. Hmm. Welcome. Yo. Alright, why? I'll take one of everything you showed me today. I need an entire arsenal. How long would that take? Hmm, depends on how quick the parts come in. Some stuff's probably gonna have to go through customs. How long things get st uh, stuck there is totally out of my control, though. Tell me, Mune. What's your son's name? Karakun, was it? That's right. Well then, if you don't deliver on time, I might just have to let Karakun know on your little secret. <clears throat> Suda-san, please. I wonder how how I wonder how how will an adolescent boy like him react to finding out his father was in the Yakuza? I guess I guess if things go sour, we could always try to sell him again. Fine, I put a rush on your order. Happy now? Very much so. Well then, I look forward to hearing from you again soon. Sorry to make you wait, kid. Shit. God damn it! What was that about? Don't worry about it. <sighs> Sorry you had to see that. Anyways, how'd it go today? You learn anything good? 100 million yen deal. Mm. Huh. So someone made a big deal with the Hong Kong Mafia worth 100 million yen. And it happened sometime around New Year's. Wouldn't surprise me if Suda had something to do with it. Eric's been bragging all over about a big score he made right near the start of the year. I gotta do some more research into it myself. Anyways, nice job. I'm gonna be able to give Suda a real scare thanks to that info you gave me. Alright, so where's my reward? Cough it up. Huh. Anyone ever told you demand how demanding you are? But uh, another time, yeah. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Suda's face. It's been ages since I felt this excited. And it's all because of you, kid. Turns out you're pretty useful. And our bond grew deeper. All right, with that we hit rank four with EY. All right. Well, I'm gonna head home early and spend some good old quality time with Kaoru to celebrate. Yo. Damn fine job again, kid. Get on out of here. And we got proficiency, but we don't need it. What we do need is guts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo, it's me. Just wanted to give you fair fair warning before I go to go home to Kaoru. You definitely got me something good intel, honestly. I appreciate that. But now Suda knows your face, and that could be a real problem. I agree. You catch on fast. Thanks to that shit today, Suda knows we're connected at least. Which means that stunt we pulled with Masa ain't gonna work on him. Well, what's done is done. If one method isn't going to work, we just got to find another. I'll think about our next move. Until then, don't do anything stupid. When you need help, I'll get in touch. Hope you'll be ready. All right, cool, cool. Strike, senpai. Thank you so much. Uh, hi. Uh, hi, hi, Kasumi. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just so happy. I just got out of a I just got out of the meet I was talking to you about and my routine was the best I've ever given so far. 
So I just wanted to thank you for that. No, I didn't do anything. You're the reason I've come so far, Senpai. You helped me so much, even with the mu mundane things. I just can't thank you enough. Please, I just want to thank you again. As soon as I get the results, I'll let you know. So I'll be messaging you again sometime soon. Now I'd better get going. Have a good night. Aw, Kasumi. Ain't she the sweetest? Alright, September 26th. Good morning. A bank, a pyramid, and now a spaceport. Anything, anything goes in the cognitive, cognitive world, I suppose. Anyhow, it is on a grander scale than before, so we'll have to do some research. We should get moving soon. Why don't we go to the palace today? Uh, we're not gonna go to the palace today. I see. All right, who's available today? Maruki and Shinya. Okay, I think we're gonna hang out with Maruki. He's the closest to, to he's the next closest one. Well, besides Makoto, uh, he's the closest to maxing out. Yeah. So I think Maruki's the way to go. So in that case, what I do want to do real quick though, uh, I do want to go. This game, Maruki. Shinya's available as well. Takemi. Okay. Let's see. I want to go to Central Street real quick, and I want to go ahead and buy another Phantom Thief notice card. hang out with Maruki. We do have a counter persona in our stead, so we should be good to go. Let's do it. Welcome. Sounds great. Thank you. Thanks for coming. So today, I'd like to start off with our usual topic. Not. I had you go in there, didn't I? <laughs> Strykun, you're in for a real treat today. I know it's been a while since you've had one, too. What do you mean? <laughs> Good question. So I recently found this delicious looking buffet. It's apparently very well regarded as has all sorts of cuisines. Well, thanks to your input, I'm making some real progress on my paper. I'd like to take you to that buffet. That's my way of saying thank you. How does that sound? Really? Of course. Honestly, I feel like I won't even cover won't even cover what I owe you after all you've done for me. Well, that settles it then. Okay, you should over you should head over there now before they get too busy. All right now, all right now. This is all on me today. No holding back. Eat as much as you please. Thanks for the food. Mm-hmm. Dig in. Although maybe I went a bit overboard for my first trip. <laughs> all right. Sorry. Would you mind if I asked you about something before we eat? It's about my paper. Uh -huh. Hmm. Shibusawa? Huh? Maruki. I knew it. Sh Shibusawa in the flesh. What are you doing here? That's my line. It's rare to see you in this restaurant like this one. Oh, and who might this be? Oh, he's... Uh, how do I put it? Eh, we made a deal. A deal? Not or some anything shady, is it? Uh, <laughs> no, not at all. Anyway, this is Strike Goon. Nice to meet you. I'm Shibusawa. Shibusawa was one of my colleagues back in college. 
At least the one who recommended I pursue a counseling career. And I hear it's been doing you some good too. I catch wind of your goings on every so often. Honestly, it's a big relief. You have so much more compassion than most, but you can almost you could yeah, you can also be a bit too carefree. Uh, not to mention that part. Not that I can refute it. But anyway, tell me more about how you've been. Fill me on this guy too. Oh, um, but aren't you here with others? What about them? Eh, it's fine. We just happen to swing by here. They don't mind my being away for a bit. And do you think you two are really going to be able to tackle all that food on your own? What? That's... Oh, right. So you're a student at Shujin Academy, Strikeun. They've been on the news an awful lot this year. And now that you're... And that's your, where you're counseling now. Yeah, but only part-time. So what are you two doing out, of, at, out at the place like this? This isn't some kind of private counseling session, is right? He's, well, he's been giving me a hand with my research. I just brought him here as a thank you for all his help. Research? I had meant, meant to mention this earlier, but my paper is finally almost finished. Oh, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's all thanks to you, though. Paper? The one you were doing research for? You mean you're still? Yep, I'm still at it. Even after all of the all of that went down. You remember when I what I told you? That I'd finish this paper no matter how long it took me? Maruki. Huh. <laughs> you blow my mind sometimes. I swear you've gotta be the, the most stubborn man in the world. Mm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? And anyway, it's not hundred percent complete yet. Haven't even begun to peer review yet. Oh seriously? I'd be more than happy to review it for you. I mean, I did perform all all the peer reviews for your publications in college. Huh? Really? Of course, man. Why not? In fact, that's that's it. This is now officially a celebration. The meal's on me today. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm supposed to be treating Strike Coon today. Oh, don't worry so much. Don't you want to congratulate him too, Strike Coon? Let's celebrate. I don't care who pays. See? He's up for it too. I had to appreciate it, but I have to say, I have mixed feelings about this. Oh, don't sweat the details. Come on, let's go for a second round. We've got to hit the meat section and the vegetables and the beans. That was great. Phew, what a feast. I think I've hit my caloric intake for the entire week. Yeah, man, am I going to get an earful on piling for, uh, for piling on pounds? Hmm? By who? My girlfriend. Well, my fiancé, to be more exact. I'm getting married soon. Ah, I see. Wait, married? Yep, married. Now you're the only one left from school who's, fly who's still flying solo. Sorry to pry, but I feel like I need to ask, are you still? Actually, forget I said anything. You were going to ask about Rumi, right? Don't worry, it's fine. Uh, should I leave you two to talk? It's okay. There's no need. Rumi was my girlfriend back when I was still a student. Well, I was, I was just too spineless at the time, and we spoke up in the end. Hold on. It, it's not like it's a, tra a tragedy or anything, though. She's totally happy now. It's just that I don't feel ready to enter another another relationship of that sort right now. <laughs> this is supposed to be a celebration. Yes, thoroughly killed the mood. Sorry about that. No, no, it's my bad for bringing it up in the first place. Why don't we wrap, in, wrap things up here? I have to say, it's really good to see you doing well, and with your paper almost finished too. Hey, Strikeun, keep an eye on this guy for me, alright? I mean, it's pretty rare to see him open up to someone like he has, he has with you. You're, you're talking about me like I'm a sullen kid? But I do need to express my appreciation properly. Thank, Thank you, you so much for helping, me, for helping someone like me make their dream come true, Strikeun. Alright, we can sense Maruki's trust in us. So with that, we hit rank 8 with Maruki. All Two right. more ranks to go. Well, should we get going? Don't forget to send me that paper, okay? I'm seriously going to review it for you. Huh, I won't. I'll be in touch soon. Be careful, okay? Thanks for spending some time with, with me. Make sure you're careful on your way home. Oh, 
we're getting a phone call. Hey, it's me. I was supposed to treat you out today, huh? So I think didn't go as planned. She was always always been a p quick to offer me his help. Well, maybe it's because he he knows I'm a little careless too. I mean, no, nah, he's a good friend. That's true. He's actually helped me throughout a lot. Running into Shibusawa was quite a coincidence, but a very lucky one. He was the best in his department when it came to peer reviews. Maybe you're bringing me good luck with him too. Or maybe I'm doing too much magical thinking. Well, see you later. All right. Ah, you're back. Yo. And the box came for you. Hey. All right, cuckoo. Oh. Let's see. I'll be at church. Um, we're at rank seven with you, right? Yeah, and so we should we should go ahead, we should hang out with Hifumi, so we can get this Mementos mission ready. We can hang out with we can hang, we can hang out with Coffee Dad another day. Also, I want to check something. I'm, I'm not too sure. Oh, it's raining. She's not gonna be there. Um, I want to get Chihaya to give me some boosts towards EYs because I believe. Um. See. Should I do this or should I do the? Go. Should I do the Big Bang Burger challenge? I don't know. Cause I want I want to do something to bring up my guts. But I mean, I guess we, I guess we do have plenty of time for that. Um. You know, I'll figure that out off screen. In the next episode, we'll decide what we're going to do. We'll either do something to bring up our guts, or we'll just hang out with Hifumi and get that Mementos mission ready. So thank you all so very much for watching this episode of P5R. If you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. It really helps me out, and it really motivates me to continue making this content for you all, because I really enjoy making them. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching this episode, and I'll see you all next time.